Greetings and blessings to you all. Um, so uh, honored to be here um, on this beautiful Sunday, um, Afa Sunday, um, honoring blessings to the ancestors for their guidance, for their experience, for their time here on the planet. Um, of course, I would love to um, raise our vibration just a bit and uh, have us go ahead and shake off any um, negative energy that we may be holding on from the week uh, in some kidney breathing. So let's go ahead and we're very familiar sitting up straight and tall um, with our feet planted on the floor in front of us. You wanna go ahead and take your spine and just, if you're naturally slouching as mo most of us do, you want to go ahead and readjust your back, readjust your spine um, to go ahead and sit up straight and tall. Of course, sitting up straight and tall allows our energy to flow freely up and down our spine, uh, which is our kundalini route, right? Uh, we know the chakras are back there along our spine governing different areas of our life, but it is really the track of or the track of the kundalini up and down the spine right from the base of our spine to our crown right our divinity sitting right on top of our heads so our kidney breathing is broken up into three breathing um breaths our hands are gently placed on top of our thighs in front of us we'll uh quickly take an inhale in and out three times, and then on the third exhale, we're going to lean forward and turn our elbows. And then we'll break our inhale up into three, one, two, three, and then we'll hold for nine in the same position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll breathe out and sit all the way back up. Quickly to describe, if we don't already know, the kidney breathing refreshes the energy in the body um, coming from our kidneys. Our kidneys are our filtration system that uh, remove essentially impurities and negative um, agents from our body, our bloodstream, um, and into our system. And the kidneys can house a lot of negative emotions, including fear. Uh, would you, uh, when you're in a state of fear or a state of flight or fight or fight, <laughs> fight or flight, we're um, in survival mode, right? So we are constantly thinking a different way. Not only that, we have picked off our sympathetic nervous system, um, meaning that we are... Um, now operating in a different way. Our organs um, have less blood to them. It's more about making sure that we have blood to our hands and our feet because we are in fear that we might need to either fight or flight. And it's when we do these practices like the kidney breathing, like yoga, like meditation, that we actually return our physical body to its parasympathetic nervous system that allows blood to flow freely through all of the organs in the body, not just allowing us to feel better, but to operate better, to operate in the maximum capacity that our bodies are meant to operate in. See, if we stay inside of that fight or flight state in that survival state too long, we will, our bodies will begin to um, will begin to weather under such conditions. It's not meant for us to be under such conditions. So use kidney breathing, use your meditations, use the technolo technology that you know to use to relax and calm yourself, to relieve your anxiety and to get back into the flow of how your body was meant to work so that you can be at your optimum best in your energy and in everything we do. Beautiful. So we'll take three rounds of this beautiful kidney breathing. The kidneys um, believe, house, and function almost 600 for women, 
use my wrap here. 600 for women, and I believe it is uh, maybe 500 for men, different body functions. So the um, clearing our kidneys uh, and the energy inside of them is a wonderful way for us to kick off this AM. So three rounds, let's uh, synchronize our breathing together because that's what we're more powerful. Each individual, one of us has so much power, power of the ancestors, power of our gods and goddesses. And um, together, like a fist, we are more powerful when we breathe together. We'll take a deep breath in and out. Beautiful, first breath, first round of kidney breathing, breathing in and emptying all the way out. Intentionally release the tension in your neck, shoulders and back. Again, full deep breath in, imagine you're pulling it up from the bottoms of your feet, really filling your air, your lungs up with air and breathing out. Intentionally relaxing those shoulders. Beautiful third, beautiful deep breath in. Make it your biggest breath yet. This time as we breathe out, we're going to lean forward with our elbows turned out. Beautiful, we're gonna chop our inhale into three. One, two, three, and holding for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, exhale, release, and sit all the way back up. Elbows back in, round two, breathing in. Emptying all the way out. Beautiful, second full deep breath in. Again, imagine it's coming up from the bottoms of your feet. And as you're breathing out, you're releasing any tension, any negative emotions, feelings, back on into those feet and down into the earth. Beautiful, third full deep breath in, make it your biggest breath yet. Beautiful, this time we're gonna lean forward and turn our elbows out. Beautiful, chopping our inhale into three, one, two, three, holding for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, emptying all the way out, sending all that energy back down into the earth, breathing out. Beautiful, round three, breath one, breathing in, emptying all the way out. Beautiful, second deep breath in. Really feel your lungs expand outward. And then breathing out intentionally and relaxing those your neck and shoulders. Beautiful, third inhale. Make it your biggest, most powerful breath yet. As we breathe out, we're going to lean forward and turn our elbows out. Chopping that inhale into three, once again, one, two, three, and holding for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, breathing out, sitting all the way back up. Beautiful. Just take a few deep breaths. In and out, feel that you invited into your system to make its way through your system, coming out of the kidneys. Probably going to work its way down your hips and thighs and legs into your feet. And then it's going to circle its way and come all the way back up, passing your calves and the backs of your kneecaps all the way to the backs of your hips and your lower back. And then now it's going to make its way up into your stomach and digestive system, all the way up into your respiratory system, into your heart, and then up into the shoulder and throat area, all the way up into your face and passing your nose and 
on up into your crown. And it's going to envelop your whole energy. So it's, that's, these practices don't just stay and help with our physical, but obviously into our spiritual or our energy light body that surrounds each and every one of us. Beautiful, beautiful kidney breathing. And yes, while I have you up here for just a few more moments, I want you to go ahead and just where you are, gently close your eyes. I want to take you to the corner of the street where you live. I'm going to clear out our senses just a bit. It is ready for this beautiful Sunday service. I want you to go ahead and walk back up to your house. Imagine you feel the sun, warm sun on your skin. You see your front door in front of you. You're walking back up to your home. Go ahead and reach out with your left hand to open up the front door. You're going to walk inside. Once you're inside, you notice your decor. You know this is your home, right? The pictures are on the wall, the artwork, the furniture is there. But instead, right straight in front of you, in front of that front door, you see a long highway, um, excuse me, hallway with five doors out. And they're all closed. I want you to walk up to the first door. It has a big, huge picture of an eye out front. With your left hand, go ahead and walk inside. You have now entered the room of scene. Once you get inside the room of seeing, you can see a lot. However, you can see that things are a little disorganized, a little out of place. There are some cobwebs and the air is a bit dusty. You see some cleaning supplies to your left. Go ahead and pick those up and just take a few moments, a few breaths in your mind's eye to clear out the room of seeing. You're organizing any loose items and putting them in their place. You are dusting the corners and getting the cobwebs out of the way. They don't belong here. You are shining the windows, allowing the beautiful sunlight to come in and reinvigorate this space. Beautiful, you have now cleared out the room of seeing. Go ahead and grab your cleaning supplies and make your way back to the door. Go ahead and open up the door, step into the hallway, close the door behind you, and make your way with your cleaning supplies down the hall to the second door. You walk up to this door, it has a big, huge picture of a hand out front. Go ahead and open the door with your left hand and walk inside. You have now entered the room of touch. Once inside the room of touch, it just like the room before, it needs a little bit of tender love and care, your attention, your mind's eye, your cleaning supplies. Take a few moments, a few breaths to clear out the room of touch. Returning all loose items back in their space and place. Getting any dust, removing any dirt, any cobwebs, any clutter. Shine the windows so that the sunlight can shine in and refresh this whole entire space. Beautiful, you have now cleared out the room of touch. Go ahead and grab your cleaning supplies, make your way back down to the hallway, close the door behind you, and make your way with your supplies to the third door. It has a big, huge tongue out front. Go ahead and open the door and walk inside. You have now entered the room of taste. Once inside the room of taste, just like the other two rooms, this room needs your tender love and care, 
your attention and in your attention and intention to clear this room out. Go ahead and take your cleaning supplies and a few breaths in your mind's eye to clear out the room of taste. Returning all of the loose items back into their space and place. Removing all dust, all dirt. Shining the windows for the sunlight to come in. Invigorating your space. Beautiful. You have now cleared out the room of taste. Go ahead and bring your cleaning supplies. Make your way back to the hallway. Don't forget to close the door behind you. Make your way down with your supplies to the fourth door on your hallway. It has a big, huge picture of a nose out front. Go ahead and walk inside. You have now entered the room of smell. Once inside the room of smell, just like the other three rooms, it needs your attention, your intention, to go ahead and clear this room out. Putting all things back in their place and space Clearing any dirt, any dust, any cobwebs, shining the windows so that the sunlight, the light of Ra, may come in. Beautiful, you have now cleared out the room of smell. Go ahead and make your way back to your hallway. Bring your cleaning supplies. Don't forget to close the door behind you. And walking up to your last room on your hallway, your fifth sense here. Go ahead and open the door and walk inside. You have now entered the room of hearing. Once inside the room of hearing, I want you to go ahead and look around and you can see just like with the other four rooms, it needs your intention and attention to clear out the room of hearing. Take a few moments, a few breaths in your mind's eye to put everything back in its space and place. Clear out any dust, any cobwebs. Shining the windows so that the sunlight, the light of rock can come in. Beautiful, beautiful. You have now cleared out the room of hearing. Go ahead and leave your cleaning supplies right where you are. Make your way back to the hallway, down to the hall, coming all the way back to your front door, opening the front door, stepping back into the sunlight. I want you to now walk away from your house. Feeling that sunlight on your warmth, sunlight on your skin as you make your way back down your street. Beautiful, beautiful. Just reinvigorating our senses here. Just a few breaths in our mind's eye, just to feel what that feels like as just like like the 80s cartoon Voltron, right? You had all these different pieces. And obviously, that's what our senses are. And together turned on, they create uh, the entity that is us. And we work so much better when things taste good, look good, 
smell good, sound good, feel good. So I'm going to count backwards from 10. Time to wiggle your fingers and toes if you travel. Time to come on back. We'll open our eyes together at 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Peace and love, everyone. Enjoy service. Honor to the ancestors. Honor to Wilson.